delayed burr. That's what we're talking about. Dave and Kale, let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Old Wise TV. I'm James Wise. I'll be your host, folks. Old Wise TV, right? Education, transparency into the real estate investment space. One of many YouTube channels that do that where we go above and beyond, right? Well, number one, I think our transparency is a lot more transparent uh, than everybody else. I think everybody else talks to you all about uh, the good stuff. Whereas at Holton Wise, we talk to you about the bad and the ugly stuff. Uh, when you're done watching this show, check out the Tennis from Hell show if you don't believe me, right? I'll just leave that there. But uh, in addition to that, right, we take it one step further because I'm a real licensed real estate broker. I'm a real real estate investor. We run a large real estate portfolio in the greater Cleveland area, right? We have property management, construction, maintenance, uh, insurance, title services, right? And we're going to couple that education and transparency into the business with real deals, real clients. You actually work with me one-on-one -on -one in this show, right? And this property that I've got, this is a real property available for purchase and it's for my clients, Dave and Kale. Real guys, right? Oil and gas uh, industry workers, right? You guys have been working with me for quite some time now. We've been building you guys a big ass rental portfolio, right? Uh, we got a lot of things happening, man. We've put out a lot of offers. Some of them didn't get accepted. Some of them did. We started work. Some of them, the sellers didn't want to take our offers, and then they came back to us later. And we might end up in a situation like that with this property, okay? 12613 Hearst Ave, Cleveland, 44135. Just relisted 12 days ago, previously on the market for 195 days. Reason being, I think the property is overpriced, guys. 59900 Ain't no motherfucker going to pay 59900 for this thing. And if they do, it's probably because they do not have an MLS search and analysis package from your boy Jay Wise. So if you don't want to be that asshole who pays 59900 for this property when it ain't worth that, go to the property search for sale tab on HoltonWise.com. Get a package today so you don't lose a fuck ton of money like uh, somebody may do. Assuming... Everybody else is intelligent enough and they got themselves a package. We can go back to the assumption they ain't no motherfucker going to pay fifty nine nine for this property, guys. What I want to see you guys do is pick it up for $35,000. I eventually want to put twenty five dollars into it, so I want you guys to eventually be all into this thing for $60,000. Okay, but I said at the top of the show, delayed burr. Maybe we can call it a slow motion burr, okay? Burr. Anybody who doesn't know what Burr is, that's a B in four R's. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. It is a real estate investment strategy that allows you to take a limited amount of money and recycle it over and over and over and over and get a bunch of rental properties. We could essentially probably take $100,000 in cash and eventually build a million dollar portfolio, right? You know. Those numbers might not be exact, right? Don't hold me to it. But you guys get what I'm saying, right? In a perfect world, something like that's possible utilizing this strategy, guys. This is going to be the slow motion burr or the delayed burr because we do have a tenant in this thing, okay? There's already a tenant in there. And, you know, I've uh, shown you guys a few videos like this, okay? By the way, if you take a look, what's nice, you got yeah, I mean, you guys see the inspection reports on all these old houses, right? All the houses you guys are looking at, they're low, you know, cheap-end houses, right? So there's a lot of deferred stuff. We're seeing a lot of stuff. What I like here, right, we already got a brand-new porch on it, right? That was probably falling off the house, so the seller went ahead and replaced that for us. Looks like them little uh, concrete steps are new, too, right? So that's good, okay? That's something nice. But uh, with these properties, guys... With uh, what we're doing, right? We're doing uh, planning on doing a lot of renovations, okay? And I like the ones where we can pick them up for low prices, right? And then we could do the renovations later, burr them out later. Because you guys have a ton of capital, right? You got a lot of capital to work with, so you could stretch out your funds, get good deals, right? And the fact that there's a tenant in here, 
is going to help us beat down that price, right? Beat down that $59,000 price. Because, look, when we're done with the renovation, okay, when we're done with everything. Because, like, look, I don't want any motherfucker paying fifty nine nine dollars right now today. But when we're done with that $25,000 renovation and we have the tenant paying the rent that I believe the tenant should be paying, this property going to be worth seventy dollars at least. seventy dollars is going to be my appraised value goal. But, honestly, if we get the tenant in there, and we might even be able to sell it for a little bit higher than that, but that's going to be my conservative estimate, right? So why wouldn't someone pick it up at fifty nine nine now? Because the rent is low, dude. The rent, the guy, he's only paying six thirty five, right? The lease, it's good till August, end of August. Long term tenant, six thirty five is what he's paying. But I want us to rent this thing for nine hundred. The reason it's a little bit lower than what you guys are normally used to uh, is this is a two two, not a three two, right? So nine hundred a month, ten thousand eight hundred a year. Also, if you're curious to know why the appraised value on this particular property is in line with some of the three bedrooms you guys have looked at, this neighborhood's a little different, right? I know you two are big on the Clark Fulton neighborhood. Um, I think there's going to be some good things happening there because of uh, all the investment for Metro Health. Uh, if you guys are curious about, you know, wondering everybody else i'm talking to everybody else now right uh after i sent this to dave and kale privately right a few months later that's when you guys on holton wise tv are getting the opportunity to watch it so you guys do not have the opportunity to buy this that was only for dave and kale uh this deal's already long gone folks but now that it's public on holton wise tv for your free consumption if you're curious to know what's going on in the clark fulton neighborhood uh just you know google it check out some of our other videos right there's a billion dollars of investing uh going into that neighborhood right but that neighborhood is currently a D-class neighborhoods of the pricing going to be a little bit lower. This is a better neighborhood. This is a C-class neighborhood. This particular neighborhood already more stable. Dave, Kale, I still want to go Section 8 on this thing, but it is definitely a nicer neighborhood, right? So that's why the appraised value is still going to be approximately similar to what those other ones were when a lot of those are three beds, and that's why the two-bedroom rent is being maintained so high, right? But currently, though, 635 yeah, with the 635, it's going to cash flow, but nobody's really interested in getting this thing at that price with the tenant paying 635 because the tenant should really be paying 900, right? So I want to utilize that and the fact that you two are paying cash to try to weasel a low ball offer on that seller and get it for the 35, right? Now, when uh, we have this thing all renovated at the 900 clip, I anticipate 463 going out, leaving us with 537, right? That would be a 7-3 cap, and that's you know factoring in my $25,000 renovation, right? And then if we get it to appraise, when we do get it to appraise, uh, if we get it to appraise at that 70, the bank will loan us back 52 and a half, which makes this a 22.7% cash on cash return when we finally do the refinance. But here's the cool thing. We don't have to go in and immediately do that refinance, Dave. Kale, we don't have to do that. We don't have to immediately shell out $25,000, right? Going back to the chart, where I got all of our cost estimates. The cost estimates here are 530, or I'm sorry, are 463, right? We're spending 463. We get 537, okay? 537 is our NOI, man. We get a lot of money. We're spending 463. Well, that 463, guys, that's almost $200 under that 635, right? So currently the thing cash flows. So what we could do, just pick it up, do nothing, just collect that dude's money. In August, his lease, it's coming up. 900 is where we want to get to, but it's going to require 25 grand to get there, right? So we might not be making that 537 with the guy paying 635, but you know what? Maybe in August, we get him up to 700, right? Or then the next year, we get him up to seven and a quarter, 750, right? Why be in a hurry to shell out $25,000? That's what I'm saying. This is like a slow motion burr. We're going to take the fag that he is paying what you know below what he should be now. We're going to take advantage of that by trying to get the good deal. We're going to make that cash flow. We're going to utilize those other funds, right? The 25 k you could be spending on this property. Let's utilize that and target other potential bird deals. I know uh, that the frequency of videos that I've been sending to you guys, that kind of slowed down a little bit, right? We've done a lot of birds together, uh, bird deals together, guys. But, you know, the frequency slowed down a little bit, right? Because, you know... 
it's hard to find bird deals. It's hard to get bird deals to work, right? There's not all these sellers that are just trying to sell their properties, uh, you know, leaving a bunch of equity on the table, right? That's not how it works. It's a, it's a hard business, and that's why we have to look at so many deals, analyze so many deals, make so many offers, right? Maybe this has been on the market for 195 days because the seller's a stubborn asshole and he won't take uh, a low offer, or maybe he's just at that point where he's flipping over that cliff and he's ready to just sell this thing. I looked up how much he paid for it. Uh, it appears he bought the thing uh, over 20 years ago and he bought it for like 28 k right? So we don't appear to have a, a mortgage short sale situation to worry about, right? So I think making this lowball offer makes sense. Can't guarantee we get the deal done, but you know, just like some of the other things that you uh, guys have done with me, you know, the sellers, they come back to us later, right? Because, I mean, it's nothing fancy here. Like, you know, it's just kind of a sketchy kitchen, right? So that's why we have the $25,000 accounted for, right? We're going to refinish the hardwoods, paint all the walls, agreeable, Gary, uh, totally redo this little kitchen here. Okay, you know, make this thing good, new kitchen cabinets, you know, the whole nine, right? But as of right now, man, let's just ride this tenant out, man. This this tenant's paying their six thirty five. Good for this tenant. Let's continue that. Let's try to slowly work that rent up and then when he finally does move out that's when you guys will drop that 25, which why I got more pictures pulled up. I just want to show you guys this too. This high water tank appears to be on the newer side. I would say that's probably in the beginning of its life cycle, but this furnace is old as all hell, right? Old as all hell. But the cosmetics of this home, smaller home, should be only about $20,000 of that $25,000 budget, right? So if we do end up having to do the furnace, we have that in our budget. If we do have to do the roof, right? Maybe we have to do the roof now. We don't have to do the furnace now. We got a little bit of leeway in our budget, right? So with that 25k we should be uh you know more than able to do something but you know hey guys obviously if you guys are not renovating this for a couple years right you know if we're towards the end of life on the furnace towards the end of the life on the roof right you know in a few years the the budget may increase you know it's going to really depend uh on how things play out right as of right now if we had to do the renovation today 25k should more than cover it get us that new section 8 tenant at 9 hundo but again don't want to do it right now. Let's just collect that existing tenant's money, right? Artificial turnover, guys. You try to jack his rent from 635 all the way up to 9 right in August, right off the rip like that, you're almost guaranteed to create an artificial turnover, and that is the biggest return killer. So we don't want to do it. So, dudes, uh, let me know what you think. I obviously have my eyes open looking at the market for you guys. Anytime I think a bird deal that's going to fit with you guys' portfolio, fit with your uh, investment strategy pops up, I'm making you guys a video. Um, right now, I'd say the burr inventory... It's, uh, you know, I'm digging a little bit harder, but hey, man, things are happening. You know, Donald Trump today just, uh, well, yesterday, actually, he just said the federal moratorium on evictions because uh, of coronavirus and all this. You know, that whole thing's going on, right? So I think there might be some landlords hurt, and I think we're going to see some desperate sellers. I think uh, aggressive investors like you guys are probably going to come out of this COVID thing uh, pretty high on top because I think there's a lot of people making some moves out of fear so you know they always say the time to buy is when there's blood in the streets right i'm not i don't know if sir i know if there's blood in the streets but there are people making uh, rash decisions trying to dump their properties right so maybe stuff like that is the thing that pushes our mr 195 days over the cliff into just dumping this rental after he's owned it for 20 something years who knows uh if not though we're going to do another property and another property and another property because it's a numbers game. And as you guys see, eventually some of those deals start closing and you guys end up with some serious equity. Everybody else, if you want to work with me, HoltonWise.com, Property Search for Sale tab. Click the MLS Search and Analysis Show. Order yourself a package today. If you're a new viewer, not ready to work with me just yet, totally cool. Check out the channel. Tons of content. We also have properties that we're selling. We are the number one seller of investment property in the Cleveland market, so you can check out the Investment Properties for Sale show to see properties uh, that we're actually selling you from our portfolio or that other sellers have hired us. You're going to see full video tours, right? We're all about transparency here folks so do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button to check out what we got because holton wise tv is real estate investing made easy this is your show this is the show where i work for you directly taking your needs i'm going through the mls and i'm trying to find the best possible deal 
for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. REIB is a full-service, turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our U.S.-based support team by phone, email, and chat, who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.